Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's by Scatino, aka Scat, and today I'm going to be bringing you some Dark Souls 2 news, some brand new news. Oh well, naturally brand new, a couple of days old right now. But first of all, we're going to kick off with the reveal of the Collector's Edition um, that was announced by Namco Bandai a couple of days ago. I think it was yesterday. Um, straight out of TGS, basically the Collector's Edition, well it's going to come in two separate editions. First of all, you're going to have the uh, the Black Armor Edition, which um, consists of a steelbook, the soundtrack, and I think the collectible art book. Uh, but then, if you're willing to put down a bit of extra money, um, you get the Collector's Edition, which includes the Black Armor Edition, of course, the steelbook, the soundtrack, the collectible art book. Also includes an authentic cloth game map of the entire world, which is really, really dope. But obviously the main part of this collector's edition, as you can see from the image, is of the 12 inch uh, Warrior Knight figurine, um, which looks great, <laughs> you know what I mean, it looks fantastic. Um, also if you can look on the, the actual game case of the Black Armor edition, I really really like that box art. I really really do, I think it looks like a fantastic box art, I hope that is the official box art they're going to keep, I hope, really hope it's the official box art, but we'll see. Um, you can pre-order the game now, I've already pre-ordered my collector's edition from Shop 2 where I think it's retailing for £89, well just under £90, but for Dark Souls 2 I'm definitely all over that. Um, it's also been mentioned about the next gen versions, I mean you you know, anyone who's been following Dark Souls 2, like I have, will know that the game has only been confirmed for PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 and the PC, and it's coming out in March um, of next year. Now, according to a recent interview happened that over at TGS, the, the developers haven't actually ruled out a PS4 and Xbox One version. Um, they basically said it's the game is only confirmed for current platforms at the moment, but you know they are um, interested on working on next gen. But it has to be agreed as a whole, as a sort of business decision, to bring the game to the next gen systems. Now, what I believe may actually happen is I think Dark Souls sold pretty well. I think it, it shifted at least a million copies or maybe even two million from what I remember um, across all three platforms. I think they're gonna wait until Dark Souls drops on the current gen consoles, see how that performs um, critically and commercially, um, see what the install base of the next gen systems are around that time, around March and then possibly announce the next gen versions for late 2014 and what I, what I would suspect is um, they'll create an expansion pack sort of like the Artorius of the Abyss DLC they did for the original Dark Souls and they'll probably include that on the next gen oh, oh sorry I keep burping on the next gen uh, versions you know sort of a as a complete package like the prepare to die edition that was released on PC and then obviously brought over to consoles I've got a feeling that's the kind of thing that may just happen at this point I you know from visually I think, I think the game looks great I mean you know me personally I know come next March I'm probably only gonna be gaming on next gen consoles I'm definitely picking up Dark Souls 2 so I'll be going back to the PlayStation 3 to play that game for definite but you know I would not mind double dipping on this game to pick up the PS4 version 2 if it does see the light of day fingers crossed for that but we'll see it's not any confirmation yet but you know there is there is hope and there may be light at the end of the tunnel for this one um, also what I've been reading is um, basically some details around like the game's mechanics. Um, the OXM magazine um, have basically said that every time you die and resurrect as an undead adventure in Dark Souls 2, you actually lose some of your total health, but it's capped at 50%. Now that's gonna that's gonna sound like a real struggle because obviously a lot of people, um, myself included, you know, obviously when you're leveling up in Dark Souls, you put a lot of um, your soul your soul level into vitality. 
Now, if you're putting a lot of your soul level into vitality and you you know getting that stronger and stronger, you're getting more health. And every time you die, and don't forget, you die a lot in Dark Souls, then that's cutting all that time and effort you've put into that actual stat. You know, it's just cutting it off. You know, it's trimming it down. So. I'm not sure if that is going to actually stay in the game, I mean we've got a long way left until March, you know, but you know, that that's something that I'm not too sure that I'm happy about, um, I think that may be a bit of a cheaper way to get the game a bit more difficult, I don't understand why they'd cap your health, obviously in the original Demon Souls, like, you know, if you die, you know, as long as you remain in soul form, you know, you'll have like half health anyway, and then obviously once you revive and you go back into human form, then you actually get your full health. Uh, but you know, once you die, you, that's capped in half. But you know, I'm I'm not sure if I'm wanting to bring that back. I, I much prefer the the Dark Souls solution to it. Um, let me see what else I can find. Also, yeah, reviving no longer requires humanity, but instead an item actually called Human Effigy. Um, which means you don't even have to revive uh, the bonfires any longer um, and human players can still be summoned to aid you whilst in human form. There is also a new covenant called the way of the blue uh, which re rewards you with a blue sentinel guard whenever a black phantom actually in invades your world. Um, summoning can still be engaged by white soapstone but there's actually two varieties this time around. Uh, there's the small stones which can only be used in certain areas while the larger variety actually gives the player gives the player helping you a special token or fidelity reward whenever they lend you a hand um, and the summon duration also apparently decreases each time you use a soapstone however so you know uh, it's, I, I'm not too sure I'm not too sure it's all very interesting um, the inventories are also changed as players can equip three items per hand um, obviously what one of them you're gonna be wanting to carry the flaming torch to light up the dark areas um, and now they're now 10 quick item slots on the down d-pad okay so that's not much um, new items including the bomb light witching urn and a war spell that increases your allies attacking and defense stats so it's all very very interesting um, I, you know I'm interested to see what epic name bro may actually say about this epic name bro does lots of Dark Souls coverage Gameplay, you know, lore videos, everything like that. If you get really into Dark Souls, and I, you know, I'd say go check out Epic Name Bro. Um, I've not been on his channel for a while actually, uh, but I may just check it to see if he's got any news on this. But yeah, so that's it for me. I know it's quite a quite a long video um, and a lot to go through, but you know, Dark Souls 2 is going to be a big game, and there's a lot of information to come out. Still a lot of development time coming. Like, like I say, we're only in September now, the game's not due out till March. Um, I'm hyped for it, I'm definitely hyped for Dark Souls 2. Uh, the original Dark Souls is one of my favourite ever games, probably what in my top 5 games of this particular generation for definite. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but yeah, if you've got any comments, then obviously drop them down in the comment section. Don't forget to always rate um, the video as well. And also click on that subscribe button if you feel the need to do so. Uh, much appreciated. But that's it from me, so hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm your boy Scatino, and I'm out. Peace.